Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss or demonstrate how to access Dynamo database, DynamoDB using Amazon AWS SDK. And the cloud application is a very, very important and more and more popular in recently. And Amazon AWS is one of a popular cloud provider. And uh, uh, one of the most important database is Amazon Dynamo database. Here you can do, and it's free for up to 25 gigabytes. To create an Amazon database, Dynamo database, uh, you have to do is uh, set up an account and at Amazon, AWS, uh, Amazon, and uh, there's a few of them free here, and like uh, Amazon Lambda, uh, Amazon Dynamo database. And uh, to be use C++ to access Amazon Dynamo database, we have to do it first to download AWS SDK for C++. And uh, it is a C, so to get started quickly with AWS using the AWS SDK for C++, the SDK is a modern open source C++ library that makes it easy to integrate your C++ application with AWS service like Amazon S3, Amazon Kinsa, and Amazon Dynamo database. So, to download, you can click this button to download from the GitHub. There's uh, many of the files and the libraries. And uh, so the library we downloaded and it's a CMake package. So up here, I have to download it. And only so you can run to CMake is uh, is a CMake list.txt. And uh, because it takes us a long time, we don't demonstrate how to compile this, and uh, it just takes a long time. So after it's downloaded, and uh, for so you, after compiling, and uh, you have a lot of uh, library, which is a library AWS CPP SDK, so there's a RS. And uh, the most important that we're using to this is It's a library, CPP SDK Dynamo DB, and the library CPP SDK Dynamo DB streams. And also another one is this is a library CPP SDK core. This is a basic, and the, this is the, for the special for Dynamo DB access. So after we downloaded this one, in there, the other things we have downloaded is the installing update. It's AWS CLI. There's the AWS CLI. There's a two version. So I did download version two, and go to the Linux. And to download and install is very easy. Just this script command for the CURL to download a zip file and unzip the file which is called AWS CLI version 2.zip and just uh, using the sudo AWS install command to install the CLI. So after you install the client, so should have to be able to reach AWS should have So it's going to be a command called AWS, AWS main menu version. So it's going to be working. And uh, so that's to for starting to able to write a C++ program. So here on the Linux and the other terminal, we just create a make file. So as it says, because when we Special for DynamDB, we have to include three library. 
its library AWS CPP SDK Core, AWS CPP SDK DynamoDB, and AWS CPP SDK DynamoDB streams. And uh, this is uh, for the make file. And uh, we just uh, create a simple, oh, the other things. Before we use, we have to be created Dyna. Here's on the Amazon. I've created my account and I've created DynamoDB. I've created a very simple table called the player. And in this table, is the primary key is called in the ID. And uh, I have a three record. ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5. So if this ID, if you click, this is a tree model. Also, we can text model. This is JSON model. So for the ID, it's the primary key. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have the first name field called John. And the last name called Oliver. And the gender called male. And the level, this is from our typical example players level is the intermediate and uh, so instead and I have uh, three of them so this is a player and this is a database so we are going to demo to write a C++ program from Linux to access this table from the Amazon cloud and uh, to be able to access to cloud we also have to go to the I am to create a user, which is I have created a user called HYUAN, and this user has a, to be a policy to access uh, the this is called the policy that I created myself. It's a Dynamo Dynamo DB read write player policy. So you have to set up your user to access this. Uh, uh, table and the play otherwise uh, you it's not able to access so now it goes back to the, uh, our dynamo db and uh, i have a table called a uh, table and the table is called player and uh, my table says player has one two three items so here on the Linux, and after we install the AWS CLI, AWS uh, download the compiled AWS SDK library, so we create a program called Gate Items. So here we want to write a program which is called Usage Gate Item, and the first parameter is the table, second parameter is the ID, is the primary key for our table, and the player. And uh, to use uh, AWS library, first you have to create uh, some, uh, include uh, some header file because we're using the core library. So we have to include uh, the core AWS outcome utility login login. Uh, and uh, because we are going to access a Dynamo database, we have to use uh, include the header files called Dynamo DB client and the attribute definition and we try to use the gate item request and the client configuration header files and after that so after we check the input is uh, argument is uh, correct which is three and the first one we have to do is AWS SDK option instantialize this option and AWS initial API, this option, this is the use AWS SDK program. And at the finished program, we have to use an AWS shutdown API, that's option, that's, and then return there. This is the typical template for using AWS AP, uh, SDK, SDK AWS SDK APIs. So between this, you can write your program. So what we write a program, we first create a variable, which AWS string called a table, which we get from the argument one, which is argument table, and argument one is table. Second, we create another one, the ID, which we get argument two, 
what we want to query. And then after that, we have to instantialize the client configuration because the AWS client config client configuration. This is we call the we call the client CFG. And then we instantialize the Dynamo DB client. We call the Dynamo client, which this client configures. this. After we instantialize the Dynamo client, for the step one, we have to set up a request because we want to query a database from the Dynamo DB. So we have to request. So we instantialize the gate item request because we want to query called REQ. And uh, this REQ, we have to set up which table we are going to request, which is the table, which is from the input argument one, is table. And then we have to set up the key. So we got the travel key. And uh, this key have to set, which is the ID. And ID is the S key. So which is the key is from our input argument two. So after we set up the request, the, the, the method we are going to use is dynamic client. It's a gate item item method. So the, the request is our set up request from this table table and the require the key from ID which we get from the input argument. So if we read the result return is going the gate item outcome. This is the result. This is the type, and this is the result. If the result is a success, then we're going to use it to do. We just query the item of this result is result get items. You know, if the result is success, we we'll get an item to get item. This item is the is the key value dynamic key value pairs. So we have set up the map. Is the key is a string, and the value is the attribute value of these items. Then when it's, a, it's a item is not a zero, it means we item has something we get returned, and then we use a loop of this item, print the key i i is from the loop old item in this loop. So i the first is the key, i the second in the git string is the value of this time. Then just finish the loop and we just shut down our API. So this is a very basic simple application. So what we do, we start a configuration, decentralize a dynamo client and uh, set up a request with the which table and the key, key is ID. And uh, by using the dynamo get item, item get the request. And uh, after if we request the check result is a success, and then we get all the items, which is the key value pairs. And then we make a loop to print the first and the second. First is the key. Second is the value. So now let's uh, just uh, save this program. So we make and then make compile this program. Okay. So this is our executable. We got compiled. This program need a table. So what we see on our Amazon DynamoDB, we have a table called a player, and the key we have a one two three four, one two three five, and one two three six. So let's just let's go back. Table is a PLA by player, and the key is a one two three four. Let's try. That. So you can see we got our the key ID 1234, name is John, first name is John, last name is Oliver, and the male intermediate. So let's check our data. So player 1234, first name is John, last name is Oliver, and gender is male, 
uh, level is in the media. So if we try to query our one two three five. You can see we get the queries, uh, the ID one two three five. The first name is Steve, last name is Poland, and the uh, level is advanced. Gender is male. So let's go back to check our AWS. Uh, this is one two three five. The first name is Steve, last name is Poland, and uh, gender is male. Level is advanced. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.